second. Jesus Christ. He's put 10K down. Nigga already made it back in five minutes. He made it back in five minutes, dog. And now everything after this is going in his pocket. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. This video is titled, Meet the 18-Year-Old Making $200,000 a Day by Jordan Welch. This 18-year-old kid is making hundreds of thousands of dollars a day just from selling clothes online. So we spent the day together in Miami to learn exactly how he's doing it. Damn. So we're right now in the design district, doing some shopping. Yeah. What we That's got planned tough, for today? bro. So today we're just going to buy a little bit of stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah, but also... we got Today we're just going to buy a little bit of stuff. I'm going to start at Prada. We're going to make our way down to Gucci. It's like... Drop today. Yeah, that's the <laughs> It's like, all right, bro, you know I get it. So today we're going to be releasing these pants, this hoodie. There's only going to be 300 of these made and 200 of these made. So we're going to drop those later. It's pretty go crazy. It's maxed out at 66K I can make once sold out just because it's pre-made. So today you're going to try to sell $60,000 worth of clothing. Yep, that's the goal. What's your brand? Like, tell the people about your brand. So my brand is Project Capri. My name is Caprice. And Capri is Latin for the word goat, which is basically the project of turning the youth into the greatest versions of themselves. You know what I'm saying? Since you launched the brand today, how much has it been okay. able to bring in? A uh, million dollars in revenue, not including my other Shopify that they put my payments on hold. So about 1.2 million in revenue. That's crazy. 1.2 million still in high school. Right, exactly. I graduated this year. <laughs> That's crazy. You put me on. I ain't gonna lie. They got some real. I ain't never seen most of these posts before. This right here, tough. This reminds me like. Oh, that's hard. That's hard. That's hard. So when you in a store like this and you see clothes going for two racks for a T-shirt. What do you think goes into that? How could you possibly make a shirt and sell for $2,000? Shopping now is hard because I know how much it costs to get this made. So like paying $1,700 for it is like kind of mind boggling to me. But I don't know. They're like the masters of building their personal brands, I guess, because charging that shirt over there was $750. That's crazy. I don't even know if I'd ever want to get to that point one day, but if I would, that would be fire. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, what do you sell your, your, your hoodie I mean, but now? you got to think about it. If you got the hype like that, bro, and people willing to pay thousands of dollars for one shirt, I I don't see why you wouldn't, you know? Like, it's like, <laughs> bro, the people going that crazy over your stuff, you might as well scale it. Like, yeah. Anywhere from 60 to 120, depending on the quality. How much it cost you to make one of those hoodies? These ones are about 24 a piece in bulk. Just for the hell cube. That's yeah, that's just. What was it like though growing up for you? Where you where were you born at? Where'd you grow up at? I was born and raised Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, my parents were divorced when I was a little bit young. My mom was a businesswoman. My dad was kind of in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Um, I live with my dad. Uh, be with my mom a lot, but she taught me a lot about business, you know what I mean? Because she ran a car dealership, yeah. so she taught me a lot about that. But yeah, hustling has always been in the family ever since I was young. Even when I was young, I was selling water bottles and stuff like that, making money. So. At school or on the street? On the street. I asked my mom for a case of water um, to buy for me, and then I gave her the money back plus more to buy another one, and I kept doing that. That's how I made my first $200 by myself when I was, like, water. I was like 11, though. So. so you knew you wanted to be a businessman from a young age? For sure, yeah, 100%. Is Capri That's, the very first that, I could, brand or I, actual bro. business you started, or did you start any other real businesses other than selling water? Well, I've started real businesses, but not like LLC businesses. So, yeah. like I said, um, I've been drop shipping before. I've drop shipped Eric Emanuel shorts, splatterball guns. I've resold shoes before for a long time when I was younger. That kind of was my hustle. When you say younger, though, like you're 18 right now, like right. you were like 13, 13 doing? 14, yeah. Wow. So, all the struggles that people go through, like the late night staying up. <laughs> no, I'm in like 17. Like, when I was younger, he's like, bro, that was a year ago. I was younger. Um, that was just five months ago, bro. Mom, you're not. <laughs> You know, lost the business stuff like that so i've been taking care of my parents for about the past two three years like two years now year and a half so um i was like damn losing money and stuff like that we need to figure something out so i had to get something going so now how long you been running the brand for about a year and a half now about a year and a half and what's the most you guys did in a day so far the most we did in a day was 267,000, and that was december 31st so about three months ago Woo! that was a great christmas gift i know that felt amazing hello Son, happy new year. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes.
Hello? Oh, what were you, 17 at the time? Yeah, I was 17. I just turned 18 last month. Yeah. What'd you, what'd you skip school that day? I'm not going to school. I don't care. If I'm making $200,000 every day, or if I'm making anywhere close to 100 bands, anything, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. If I'm making 5 k a day, bro, I'm not going to school. If, if, like, like, if I'm making anything above 5 bro, $1,000 a day is already comp. 5 k or anything above that? Oh, okay. It was, Saturday. it was a Saturday, but I don't think I went to school for like the next two, three days after that for sure. What's it even like going to school now knowing that you make your teacher yearly salary in a day? Um, if you want me to keep it 100% honest, I was missing so much school, they unenrolled me. And I just got re-enrolled last week. So it's cool, but I don't really talk about it too much. Like the students there know and everything, but... Um, I don't talk about it. My teachers know from kids telling them and stuff, but it's yeah. really, it's crazy. For so sure. we're out here on the streets. Yeah, because I wouldn't want to go back to school. That's another thing. Like, not even just on no, like, flexing shit, too. But it's just like, you, because you know, like, if I, if he was to go back to school, it's going to be one of those few people that's just going to be plotting on him, bro. And it's like, nah, you don't, you wouldn't even need to, it, it wouldn't even be safe to go back, honestly. I would try to, like, work something out with the school where you can like work from home or i don't know bro but i wouldn't want to see somebody I wearing bro's brand live in full effect Every fashion nigga stand like that, bro. Like a straight dickhead, bro. I swear. No, it's not everyone. Let me not say that, bro. But I hate when I hate when niggas stand like that. I'm be honest. It's only niggas, bro. It's not black people. Y'all know the difference. Trying to put everybody on for shit you need. Know. Okay, I feel you. Besides, yeah. like being in the streets type shit. Right. Make clothing. So special, you. special pain through art. Right. How you how you mess with the piece? Huh? How you mess with the piece? So you represent what I represent. We in two different worlds. Yep. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Yeah. What's your name? <laughs> Hunter. Hunter? Nice to meet you, buddy. Yeah. Nigga, your name is fucking Michael. My nigga, your name is not Huncho. I'm a grown ass man. I'm not <laughs> bro, y'all know that flight meme where he's like, I'm a grown ass man and you want me to call you FTC. <laughs> like, bro, I'm not and your name's not Huncho. That's what's up. My name's Huncho. That's it's crazy. on your birth certificate. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Nigga, your name is like Randall. Vegas, Stop Cali, playing. Maybe like Texas more than I do Miami. But, uh, yeah, that's definitely fire for sure. Now, 18, what's been some of the best things you've been able to spend your money on? So I have a 2018 Trackhawk. I have a 2021 AMG GLE 63S. Uh, I bought my dad a house, and I just moved my mom into her new house, and I'm about to buy her house when I move out. So those are some of the big things that I bought so far. That's so, tough. You got mom's a crib. Yeah, he just got mom's a crib too. So, you know what I'm saying? It's fire. You know what I'm saying? That's the goal, man. For y'all watching this video, the money's cool. Go shop right. and do all that stuff. But when you got money to take care of your people, man, nothing feels better. And now we got the yeah, job. That, yeah, that's, that's really the goal. I swear, when you get to a point where you could just, like, take care of your people and it's not an issue anymore. Or not even an issue at all, for real. Like, it's just on some, like, oh, you said you need, like, 10k <laughs> to like go start a I don't, I don't know bro it just sounds tough it's just tough it's tough it's tough how you feeling you think it's going you think it's going to do good yeah i think it's going to do good for sure um it's pretty limited and my sms list is about 27,000 people so i feel like it's going to do pretty good he just met a, a supporter of the brand and he just gave him his personal hoodie show him the hoodie real quick He just said that he knew me and he caught my clothes before and I just asked him if he had one of those hoodies and he said he didn't so I just gave him mine. You know what I'm saying? That's the only one in the world too because the other bulk hasn't came in yet, so that's calm. That means that shit should be worth he should have had him sign it. I'm not gonna lie, like if he if there was a way, but bro, can you like sign it? Cause a one of one hoodie with your signature on it would go stupid. That joint would probably be like ten K on its own. Twenty. Honestly, the longer you hold on to it, my nigga, it, it's just gonna it's just gonna keep rising. Nah, that's real, bro. That's, that's, I seen that, I knew you were solid. That's These are the boots I just picked up right here. Balenciaga striker boots. I got All right, not to like ruin the moment though, but it's like my nigga, you're doing the interview. You're 
Of course he gonna make himself look good. No shit. It's a video. I'm not saying like he doesn't do that off the camera though. You know, it's just, but it's like Jordan said, after I seen you do that, I knew you was a, a genuine person. It's like, that don't, <laughs> that don't like certify him. But I mean, like, it's, it was good. It's still a good message. It, but we're on camera though. So it, you got to have a little bit of like, what, bias, I guess. Under every color of these except for this one, so. Heavy too. So what else we shot before today? So it's really just whatever I see, you know what I'm saying? We're probably gonna hit up Rick Owens because last time I was here like a month ago, James Harden bought the whole store and they shut down for the rest of the day. Said I wanted to get these one shoes, so we're probably gonna hit up there. You spend Damn, my nigga, there is levels to it though. Like, ain't that crazy? Ain't that crazy? Like Sitting here, the the dude he shook his hands with was already like, "Oh my God, it's you!" This dude talking about the last time I was here, James Harden bought the whole store. Oh my goodness! Hello, motion, motion, bro. And then there's then there's people above him. It's like, yeah, bro. Last time I was here, uh, dude done bought the whole block. It's like. Damn. The money you make right now, or this is kind of no. like a rare. Thing. This is a rare thing. For the first time, I did my first big shopping like a week ago. Sure. Because I went down this way. Or this. I have to check. Because I went down to um Cali, and last time I was there, I remember I was window See, shopping. See, bro, random joint though. If I ever get this big, where right, I get this big, my nigga, like, I would have to. I want to be like real cool with my security. Like, I want to be like these with my security. Cause I don't want my security to be like, like they, every time I see a security guard, bro, or like security in general, they always just seem like, like off putting. I don't know. Buy the stuff I want. Uh -huh. So I spent like eight grand in California about a couple weeks ago, but now this is a special occasion. But usually, yeah, nah. My mom always says I'm very frugal. Yeah, I'm very like stingy with my money. But the way I do things, let's say I make eighty eight grand. The 80 will get put up to either save or invest, and then the eight grand is stuff that I can move around or reinvest. You know what I mean? I'm the same way. Like, yeah, I, I feel that though. That's just that's that's clean. That's clean. It's like you got the 80, you go ahead, put that away. Now, the eight bands is just me. That's all me right there. Today, but when it's time to Damn, buy eight, bro. Could you imagine having eight bands just casually? we gonna get there. Don't even think twice about that. we gonna get there. You, you too. Yep, we got some pieces, you know what I'm saying? But we got some business to handle. We do. Spending money's cool, but we gotta go make some money now. So we gotta drop in about an hour. This may be dope. We're gonna go back to the Airbnb, break down the whole business behind this drop, and watch this. We're thing. gonna go back to the Airbnb. We're going to get the fit and the Coke. We're gonna mix both, and then he's gonna. <laughs> I gotta make stop saying. $50,000 live in front of your faces. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Nobody else is doing. You say he's gonna make fifty bands. Dollars lobby break down the whole business behind this drop and watch this man make fifty thousand dollars live in front of your faces. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. You said all fifty. This man about to drop the collection. Uh, Three minutes. Three minutes. What's the play? So you looking at my phone on Instagram and that's it. Right, I say ten. <laughs> it's like <laughs> nah, I'm just trolling. Let me turn my ring around. So as you can see, I just made. The post right here. We got that ready. Yeah, I had that ready, obviously. All I got to do yeah, yeah. And here's the order about to start rolling in. Here they are. He just posted it. I this text haven't even went out yet, so these are just people waiting on the website right now. Yeah. As you can see, this isn't updated. Oh, so okay. Updated. I'm about to say, damn, my nigga, you just. <laughs> right. Oh, let me see. I put it in my comment. Five hundred in a second. Woo! <laughs> Yo, that's so tough, bro. The post just went up. The text is about to go out in a minute, so we're gonna see how this goes right here. These aren't little orders either. It's 140 yeah. per order. Right. So yeah, see. bro. Like what? Today. Okay. Well, okay. So right now the site is not gonna be live to everyone for another two minutes. So who got access to it? SMS right now. Uh, Wait a minute. Did that nigga lie? Hold on, bro. You got the hoodie on. He said it was a one of one. <laughs> See, bro, hold on. <laughs> hey, yeah, I have to say, it was a, bro, he said that's the only one in the world right now. And then the nigga has it on. Or is he just saying, like, that's the only one out right now because 
Okay, okay, never mind. That makes sense. That makes sense. He's saying like it's the only one out to the public, so it's the only one in the world. But like, obviously they would have a whole bunch. But okay, okay, because I'm sitting here like, bro, you said that was a one on one. Text should be going out this minute right now. So as you see, it's updating on here. How I turn this up? There we go. So you have almost a thousand dollars, and the site isn't even public so yet. So far, yeah, it hasn't even went public yet. I still got to make all my posts. I always do it a couple minutes early because you got to post everything. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, give it time. It's very still coming in right now. Oh, Bro, gonna, could you imagine like you just stare, right? And you like lay down, go to sleep, take a nap, wake up. 30 bands. Yes. It might break your phone with this one. That's tough. That is fucking tough. Sales are like glitching on top of each other. They're like, yeah, they're glitching on top of each other right now. Hold on, I'm still trying to post everything. That's the hardest part about is just getting everything out. Capri.com. Hold on, let me see. Boom, another 108 order. 148. So now that it says 148, that means the SMS hasn't went out until like right now. Um, which means that see, look, we're getting $200 orders. Let me go back to my shop. It is crazy, bro. I did Shopify for so many years, got all these sales, but that's that sound is <laughs> still somehow so never gets old, bro. We're at twenty seven fifty. I mean, twenty seven hundred so far in yeah. orders. In like uh, ten and, minutes. <laughs> yeah, and not even a minute yet, honestly. But I hope this is, is this other thing gets this. It's still not even three yet. Right, buddy's yeah. at almost three thousand in sales. Right. It's about to go public. This nigga made. So when you say public, it's just for the people that was on so the far. list already. Yeah, so like when I send out on my list, if there's a password on my website, I'll. I'll give them the password so they can get in early. And so they're like, really quick. Yeah, so they're just quickly trying to get to it. You know what I mean? Yo, SMS. Oh. It's three now, so it should open. Yo, SMS public. Just sent. Oh, look, look at this number right here. Look at this number. Yo. There we go. <laughs> okay, damn. It's starting to what you call it. It's going up. Damn. Right look, if I keep refreshing this. Oh, we're at five k. Yeah. Let me see. Four six. So far in the first minute, four hundred and sixty people on the site. Let's look at this map right here. Let's already at five bands, bro. It's all in the US. Yeah, we got New York, for Philadelphia, but if you come over it's here. It's been like three minutes, dog. It's been like three, four minutes, and he's already at five thousand. You can come on this side, CJ. The Switzerland. Bro, got almost 600 people on the site right now. So now they're all going through to check out, and then it's just about to go stupid. Right, so if you I don't know why Jordan acting like he don't got his. Bro, but he's done Shopify, though. He's literally a GOAT at Shopify. Like, he's. He got bread, bro. So I don't know why he sit here like, oh, so they're on the site right now, and the sessions is you know what that means, bro. I don't know if he's doing it for the audience, but like, come on, yeah, okay, <laughs> like, like, yeah, okay, come on, bro. You already know. Here, it shows one hundred and forty. That's probably just like that. Probably feel good because he know how you feel. Parts one hundred and fifteen people checking out. That just kind of shows your conversion rate right there. You know what I mean? And everybody's rushing because it's a limited drop. Right. So as you can see, it's going up on my phone right here. Is my ringer still on? Oh, we actually have eight hundred and seventy-two visitors. This is behind. So let me open it right here. Actually, I just checked. Hold on. Pulls out like a fucking like big Bertha laptop. Slams it on the table. He's like. I gotta log into the mainframe. Yes. See now it says we actually have twenty two thousand people on the website and every last single one of them is paying five hundred extra. It's like where did that come from? What are they buying? Didn't you say it was limited? On the side we do sell fin ink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, on the side we do sell fin and coke. Blend. It's like, bro, that's illegal. You're going to jail. Unk, please. Large. So we're at 6,500 in sales in one minute so far. 1,000 people on the site. Let me make sure everything posted. The Wi Fi here is ass. When you close the app, is when the notifications start coming back. Yeah, when yeah. I'm on the app, the notifications aren't there. So should I keep it close? Oh, there we go. All that, all that couple months of work starting to pay off right, right now. Right now is where it starts paying off. As you can see right here, we're at 9K. And literally. Literally. Actually, though. They just launched a minute ago, and they're up to almost $10,000 in sales. 
each one of them rings is like $110. Yeah, like <laughs> 148, 134, 134, 134, 134. Damn. Now people are starting to finally check out, you know what I mean? Yeah. Congrats, bro. We're not that good. Yeah. <laughs> So we're at 10k so far, so I've already made my investment back. This is how much bulk was, so everything from here is profit. Yeah, and how many people check? Jesus Christ. He's put 10k down. Nigga already made it back in five minutes. He made it back in five minutes, dog. And now everything after this is going in his pocket. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. I swear that's so tough. That's tough. Let's see, there's 1,500 people on the website. Uh, 295. Yeah, 295 actual cards right now. They ain't my sell out. I don't know if it's a mite at this point. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> two minutes. got 300 things and 200 people checking out. That's. Jesus. Oh, Jordan, this is the SMS. See that? Oh, yeah, oh, you got the quick. text right there. This is the SMS. Right, said, our denim is out now. Give him a discount code. Yeah, discount it's code. only 300 fares. So everybody's like, yeah, I got the yeah. code. It's only 300. Yeah, so I got the code go. message there on yeah. it. Right. I'm surprised you don't even put a link on there, though. They just have to go to the site. Themselves. It doesn't have a link on it? Let me see. Nah, it doesn't. This one it doesn't. But like his old ones, like, see this one? Oh, yeah. Usually they come with a link automatically. I'm not sure why I didn't do that. That's People are cool. manually Searching typing in here. Yeah, 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 but that's tough, though. That showed you how dedicated they are. Because you still sold out. And you ain't even put a link. Imagine you put a link. I have a link to make them go there, so. Yeah. This is crazy right here, though. This full is different, bro. Okay, bet. <laughs> hey, we got a movie on the way. We got a movie on the way, y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're making some money. We got about, this is behind, so we're at about 15,000 in sales, 2,000 people on the site right now. Um, Great. If I open it on my phone. All right. If I open it on my phone, we are at. So refresh. Yeah, about 15 grand so far in three minutes. Yeah, and the goal is 60. The max it can do is 60, just because um, what you call it, the amount of inventory I have. So we're about 5K in profit right now so far. We got 2,007 visitors on the site. I got a privacy screen, so I got to kind of show it. Like My that. dog. Oh, five, five bands just straight in the pocket. Just straight, that's right, that's all you. That's going straight in your pocket. Because the 10 k is already, the 10 k pay for everything that you just, you just invested. You put in 10 k you have 15 right now, and it's only been like no more than six minutes, bro. Five minutes. Dog. Son, I'm trying to tell you. Yo, and then it's because it's. But he said he only had 300 though. So how many? How much are he really gonna make though? Right here. Cause he's gonna be capped unless he's yeah, sure. yep. adding an extra drop. Like unless, cause if you don't say it's sold out, people are gonna spend that much money. Sales. Whatever. Let's look at the map right there though. Damn. This thing's going crazy. Let's see who's overseas with it. Yeah, like look at all this over here. Europe's going crazy. Italy, Switzerland. Italy. Italy, Italy again. France, Spain. Spain? Ukraine, worldwide. Ukraine? Kingdom, Sweden. So let me close the app again so we can actually hear the notification. Give it a quick scroll. Ooh. Damn. Ooh, I know that feels so good, bro. Yeah, pretty much. Oh my goodness. That just hitting your phone. It's just, bro. Oh, son. I know that feels so, so good. Like you just, bro, and you're just going about your day, and your phone's just ding, 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 ding. Like, bro, and it's just bread. It's just money. Like, I know that feels tough. As you see, it's jumping up right here too. This is pretty much all that goes into it. Drop it. You can really drop from anywhere. All you gotta do is press a button, unlock your site, and as long as you have everything automated, you can just drop from anywhere. Yeah. All the work has been done in the past, and now yeah. today is the now day, where, the day you, where you, know. you sit back and yeah. gather everything. You know but I think saying. a lot of people, even when I first saw the video, the 200K drop, right. they just see that. But right. they didn't really see you the locking in, into, talking right. to the manufacturers, doing the designs, right. building up the influencer relationships. Right. You know, yeah, people just really see that moment right it. here. Yeah, all they see is this, but there's stuff that goes into it behind the scenes. You yeah, know. facts. And I know that shit was stressful as fuck. Because... 
<laughs> it's like, yeah, he make that much money, but bro, he bro, you probably should there be stressed the fuck out, my nigga. Talking to manufacturers, samples over samples, I had to get a couple of these made to perfect it. You know what I mean? So this is where you just sit back and enjoy what you worked for. It's crazy, bro. Yeah, bro, you deserve that moment. My whole life, I ain't never seen a drop like that one. So. Are you serious? I never do drops. I build a different type of business. Oh, you know? yeah, you got, like, uh, did you, like, sell, like, uh, dropship, right? Uh, I started with dropship, and mm -hmm. then I customized and, and built my own product. open, like, every day. Yeah, we would do, like, 8 to 10K a day. But the other thing, too, you don't run Damn, out. that's still crazy, though. <laughs> yeah, we do, like, 8 to 10K a day, though. Son, that's 50 bands in one week. And if you count the weekend, that's 70. That's a salary in a week. That's crazy. Some IG boosts here and there, yeah. you know what I mean? But I don't run like official ads like to track conversions and stuff like that. A couple of companies have tried to work. Oh, with that's why Jordan's more like, okay, I get it because it's a drop, so it's like everything kind of just like shoots up in the fucking sky like fast. Like it's just like, damn, one after another, one after another. But it's like for him, he does drop shipping and then it's like it's like gradual, so it's not like a like a immediate like ding 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 it's more like throughout the day type joint i mean but that's still crazy though because you that's still eight to ten k a day it'll sell out without ads you know what i mean yeah. but if i do like a i plan on maybe doing a big pre-order release with like a, yeah pre-order release so that people can get everything they've been missing out on so i might run ads when i do that because then you can get everything you know what i mean yeah there's no point of running ads because for instance the size 32s i think are already sold out so if i'm running ads and someone's wearing a size 32 they can't even purchase even if they wanted to, you know what I mean? Damn. What's the site look like right now, like the actual website the itself? Website, so this is how the website yeah. looks right here. So this is what people are coming to. This is the Capri rhinestone denim. This is the hoodie I'm wearing right here. And then these are just some extra tees that I got on there that are usually always on my site. And then let me see if I can go to my post scripts. And he I only got five things up there. Oh yeah, we're above 20K now for sure. Yep, 20K, so 20K we're about one third minutes. sold out in seven minutes so far. You know what I mean? Yeah, on here, look at how qu quick this is going right here. Let me pull up those conversions for you real quick. But, yeah, I mean, when you really think of it, it's like you're not getting thousands and thousands of... Nah, but he did say he was capped out at, what did he say? What was it, 60K? He was capped out at 60K, so that do make sense. Customers, right. it's like building a relationship right. with a couple thousand people to wait, and then how many units you gotta sell, or how many customers you gotta get today? Like, what is it, like 500, 400? Yeah, uh, actual, well, like yeah, actual customers to buy, I only need to get 500. But yeah. then when you build up a list of 27,000 people yeah. with an average conversion rate of 1%, you'll still sell out, you know what I mean? Yeah, when you look at it that way, it seems a lot more attainable. I think when right. people see 60K in a day, they're like, right. oh, I can't do that. But when it's like, can you convince 500 people to buy a fire piece of clothing? Exactly. That's like, oh, yeah, I can do that. That's all it is, because so far I've made 20. I like that. I like they put it in that perspective. That, that, yeah. Because it's like, 60K is like, damn. But it's like, but can you just convince 500 people to spend X amount of money to get you to 60K? But that means, bro, that means each person got to spend at least, well, yeah, that makes sense, because they're spending like 130 each. Yeah, that's about right. And all I did was convince 140 people to buy these jeans. How many? So, so far, I've made 20K, and all I did was convince 140 people to buy these jeans. Yeah. Just like that. What do you think makes a drop successful? Well, what makes a drop successful is how happy your customer is with your support, and um how your pieces and honestly what your expectations are because my expectations would be different from somebody else somebody can get the same feeling i'm feeling right now on a 10k drop you know what i mean it just goes based on very person perspective person. but um a successful drop is what you make it it's honestly from person to person because some people this drop is terrible and to some people this drop is great so it's kind of like to each its own you know what i mean yeah. you just made 25 bands right. in 10 minutes from a drop of your clothing brand right. for somebody watching this video that wants to start their own brand right. how do they do it if you want to start your own brand, obviously you're going to have to get your Shopify together, build your personal brand, your Instagram and everything like that. But it's definitely possible, you know what I mean? So just obviously chase your dreams. If your ambition towards anything, you're obviously going to succeed if you don't give up. Everybody who is successful probably failed at something and just didn't give up and then look where you end up, you know what I mean? And this is just the beginning for me, you know what I mean? I obviously want to get into real estate. I want to get into some other... Um, yeah, assets. facts. Because it's like, if I'm doing this right now, take this, apply to something higher, 
Then you take that, apply it to something higher than that, bro. Next thing you know, he owns the whole planet. <laughs> and stuff like that. So this is just the tip of the iceberg, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure, though. Yeah. Hey, well, make sure y'all go tap in with his YouTube. He's teaching you guys how to start your own brand. You also got a community, right? Yeah, I do. I, I also teach people how to make hard rock crack cocaine. <laughs> But that's on on my Patreon. Get ten percent off. Apply code Crack One Hundred. Free shipping. It's like what, bro? Uh, how to market? How to build your own personal brand? And it helps for all types of businesses, just not clothing businesses. It's kind of like a marketing community. So yeah. Hey, y'all never see me plug nobody's stuff on my channel, but I'm really watching. I never kids. plug I anyone, but stuff. please go check them out. <laughs> I can't take it serious. <laughs> Oh. All right, man. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to check out another video like that. You know, just click it. Just click it right here. You don't. You don't got a sub or nothing, bro. I'm making it easy. Just, just click the video. It's on your screen already. Might as well. Go ahead, click it. <laughs>